ngi bingi lele kina nonge. Welcome to my Kusini TV. Ngi zubingi hosting mina fala channel. La bingi zubingi ni pako nuna zote nte zinde nte zile kama yenzazi. La bingi fisu sina sisi zana sonya kalo sini like, ni comment ni pini ni subscribe. Magu kuti ni wanyo ama sessions we get um. You know guys, I don't know where these videos go. I don't know how many people watch my videos. I don't know their race, their ethnicity. I don't know where in the world they are. You know, hence why I like to speak. I'm trying to speak English now. But yo, I will try by all means to accommodate everybody and um, hopefully my English is not too bad guys like yo 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 this guess you sometimes in illuminamla anyway um let's get to today's topic so today I came with the topic of um um I'm a course not necessarily I'm a course but ubu course and the different types of Ubu course, you know, such as I mentioned in the previous video. And mind you, if you're somebody who is new, has not watched previous videos, I suggest you go and watch previous videos because I'm going to be very short in this video because most of the things that I'm about to speak on in this video, I've already mentioned in previous videos. So I will just skim on top not really delve any deeper on the matter so i came with the topic of over course per se um i think i've mentioned a lot about amakosa manzi and many people too do mention a lot about amakosa manzi but what they do um is disregard um the other side or the other forms of over course you know we don't only have amakosa manzi we have Makosum Taba, like a Makosin Taba. We have Makosa Mans, we have a Makosa Pezulu. A Makosa Pezulu are the one that I will not be getting into in this session because there's a lot about it. Like, there is a lot. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, a lot. So, they need time to be ex <laughs> They need time to be explained because it's a deep topic and it's a very very widespread topic so without any further ado let me get into today's topic so uh, first and foremost we have what is called um that's when we get into um Umgun per se. Um starting from the top. Skulumangunguni la Umguni in its own Amakosi na you know and I'm sure somebody out there is asking me Umguni how come Umguni is Amakosi since Amakosi we say um amakosi awatwaselwa ayazenzela how come now when we get into the topic of umguni we say umguni is ubukosi or amakosi umguni in order for you to understand the story of umguni and why umguni is regarded as amakosi we have to date back we have to travel back Remember in one of the videos I said um, the southern parts of Africa were not habited by anyone. We all migrated from the top parts of Africa and came down. You understand? So, in the sense you would see, we all came from the top to where we are now. One of the many first tribes to ever come into the southern parts of Africa was the Ngoni tribe, was the tribe Amazulu. Actually, actually, they were not called Zulu, they were called Amangoni. You 
understand that's where the name Unguni comes from. Hey, it's a very deep topic. It's a topic that on its own, I think I've never mentioned or made a topic on Umguni. But the reason Umguni is because Umguni is linked to us through blood. And what do we know about things that are linked to us through blood? We should understand that us as Africans, we not well adapted into the writing aspects of things so we didn't write our histories we we would explain history orally or verbally you understand hence why today people don't know a story about amanganyamba or inganyamba they don't know our stories about amakosa pezulu and all this stuff because we did not write our history down we only spoke it to other people. Now the reason is is because it is one uh, part of history or it is the major part of our history that has been passed down by generation to generation to generation. How we heal has been passed down generation to generation to generation uh, what herbs we use has been passed generation to generation to generation and so forth you understand where i'm going with this so it's been passed down so much that um excuse me can um, as I was saying, uh, the history has been passed down so much that there is so much known about Isinguvuni people. We know the herbs, Eswatingayo, Mastila Nezlozi, are linked to our blood. We know everything, you understand, not everything per se. Because everything is too much. But we know a lot about Isinguni because these are teachings that fell down from our Okokobe to our great grandmothers, to our grandmothers, to our mothers, then to us. It is knowledge that has been passed down. So that's why Isinguni Silapega. That's why Isinguni Sitwaselega. Not that a mini more it was a leg such as a yaman. Yet was a leg if also find the right person. You understand? So that's why Isinguni sits was Because there's so much known about Isinguni. So much so that if somebody has already done their mission, they can assist you with your mission. But I'm being too long now, Umguni. I think I might make a separate video on Umguni. Um, I will see. I don't know. <laughs> Just below Umguni, we have what we call Abalozi. Now, when it comes to Abalozi, this is the thing about spirituality or Imimoya. We categorize things so much that eh, that sometimes we call two different things one thing. Do you understand? We call two different things one thing, such as Abalos, and especially with the topic of Abalos. That's why so many people don't know much about Abalos. Abalozi, we have so much below the topic of Abalozi because Abalozi is what we call Amabuto. And just below Amabuto is what we call Istunya. And just below Istunya is what we have called Isanusi. Underneath the same topic of Abalozi. I think you you like if you went or you can go back to my video, previous video where I tell you that Abalozi, when they mature, they 
they can get into the stage Shobu Nusi, where they become Iza Nusi. I think I've mentioned that. And I've never mentioned anything about Amabutu. Amalozi are so diverse and so deep that, yo, they are always below the chief. Always. Because now they are so dynamic, they are so deep, you know, you need to, to, to fully grasp the the knowledge of spirituality in order to understand uh the the the, the, the topic or the concept of Abalos. Because there's a lot about it. As I've mentioned, I just mentioned Isanus, I mentioned Istunya, I mentioned Amaboto under the topic of Abalos. There was so much about spirituality, guys, that sometimes it fascinates me even thinking about it, you know, like, yo. So, let me try and break this down. I want this video to be like 20 minutes, but since I'm coming in more in Bilila, we're already at 11 minutes. When it comes to Babalozi or Izanusi, Izanusi now fall under the topic of isitunya. That's like I said, maskulumang isitunya, maskulumang isanusi. Why? Because isanusi abanta babay sila ang gumoya o inoyele. People used to pray, go to the mountains and pray, they have visions of the future, they can see the future. Specifically, because the topic of Isanusi descends so much that Isonto la Kalanges Gobunusi. Hence, why you see yourself dreaming of. Fagi chazel blue, fagi chazel yellow, fagi chazel green. You understand? Kwa kale la lapo, ebnu sini, and then it grew into being a church thing, like classified as church, and then from there, grew into what now we call e tone. You understand? So it graduated. It didn't graduate, it more like it downgraded because. Isanusi is very powerful. Very, very powerful. It's more like it just diluted itself. But the energy is still the energy of Nus. Hence why Isunya always falls under Abalozi. Because Abalozi have the ability to mature into Isanus. But I'm not there. We have Amaboto. Amaboto. They are warrior spirits. I will not delve deep into Amabuto. I might make a separate video on Amabuto and Ilendunjan Omguni. Because these are the topics that I've never spoken about. And I didn't want to come with this topic before I spoke about those topics. But uh, it's happening. Below um, what we call uh, Abalozi, we have Amandao. Amandao is usually Imoya Yaban Besfazan, Imoya Yoko Kolena. Yaban Tabani is easy in Laban Tabano Tando Rakulu when it comes to Amandao. Uh, and usually, Futsi, it's usually people who migrated from the northern parts of Africa and descended to the southern parts of Africa, such as Abangooni. And then just below that, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. 20 minutes is about 6 minutes away. And just below uh, Amandao, we have um, uh, Amandiki, which is masculine spirits or spirits or Imoya Yabantubeslis. You understand it could be a grandfather your father your brother uncle whomever but moya yabandu basically and then um 
just below that we have Moya Yingani, which is Moya Wamanono. And another thing you will notice about spirituality is that it always has a masculine, a feminine, and children. That's something you will notice. That's the trinity. That's the original trinity from the father. The father deposits into the mother. The mother brings an offspring, which is the trinity. Not the father, the son, the Holy Spirit. It's the father, the mother, and the child. Yeah, but that's a topic for another day. You understand? And um, I, as I said before, I mentioned... I'm mentioning even now. I'm not tied to African beliefs only. If you're gonna go to my channel, African traditional values and other forms of spiritual beliefs. So we are diving deep into the original sense of spirituality and st stop doing this thing of categorizing spirituality as in is a South African thing only. It's not only South African, it's white spirit. It's everyone's black, white, Indian, whichever race, whichever ethnicity, whichever culture, we are all the same. You know, we might do things differently, but we're all the same at the end of the day. Uh, then we have Amanon. Uh, and then we go into the water. In the water, we have the same thing. We have Kala, we have Imoya, um, Yamanon. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, Indigi, Imoyeni Yendaba, is what we call Indigi Elimnyama. And that is Indigi Elimnyama, or Umti Umnyama. And then when we come to the water, we have Amanono Nakon. Now, what's the difference between Amanono Ase Manzini, Amanono Ase Ntabini? Amanono Ase Ntabini are children who were born literally who came out the womb either it was a still birth the child was born and they were already or maybe they were born and then they died afterwards you understand either they were born but they they came into the physical they were born and they died eventually they died when they were very young you know they died before them. they died before they engaged in any sexual activity. Ileo ama umboya yama yama nono asemslabin. Then when we come into the water, ama nona se manzina much more different than ama nono asemslabin. Ama nona se manzina is when we come to the topic about who had miscarriages, people who did abortions. You understand? And I think that still bad gets here. Because it's still bad, you know, it's still bad to the mundo said to right? So they died whilst they were in the womb and then they came out. Unless they were they died when on the way out. You understand? It's a different story. But the difference is that these ones they died inside the womb. Why go be amanona mans? Because they died inside the womb. In the womb, there is water. Batum. They died in water. Amanono futi ngenze kubomdo anu wahamba na mans. Then amanona mans futi nalao. They have something to do with water. Hence why baby zong amanona mans. And then after that, we have indigeli mshop. It's similar to Elimiyama. It is a masculine spirit, but these are masculine spirits who died in water too. Understand? As we graduate, we have Mdao, which is Imoyez al Ghazli. And then we have Abalozi, Futsinakon. Same story goes for Abalozi. We have Visitunya. And then it's a balozi. It's a tunya which derives from is a nose. Yang is also seen. When they mature, they become a is a nose. It's when you mature so much or balloons back mature so much, they become is a nose. It graduates. It's the same story. But there's a difference. There's a reason why we say water 
is more powerful than land. <laughs> so, after that, we have Avalos Basimanzi. And then, after Avalos Basimanzi, we have what is called Unda this time. Such as Umguni Benga Makos. Umdao. Unga Makos now. Makosa manzi umdao. Skuluma makosa ngembela ye manji makosa umdao. This is when you dream of um somebody who's a human on top and a snake at the bottom. That represents umdao wa manzi. Umdao uge lo. That's not representing me mate. Me mate is a fish. It's a different. Now. Ama koso mda. Ahamba kakulu. Nazo ingo sazani. Hence why. If una makoso mda. You will dream of a mermaid. You will dream of a person. Who is a snake on top. Or a snake at the bottom. And a human on top. And most likely. You will dream of a giant. Black snake. It won't be flying. It will be down in the water, or it will be just in the water. Could be brown foot, but so it represents umdao la pa makoso umdao la woke. After makoso umdao, we have what is called abal pati bomteto. Noma e abesulele. This is what makes the water sip, the water spirit more powerful. This is what makes the water spirit more powerful. This must is a patin bomb tet, a bishayan bomb tet, This is when things tend to be more exciting. Because these are spirits who are not governed by the fact you go see. There's a higher spirit than them. These are those types of spirits. They are very, very powerful. And they are so unbiased. They are very, very scary. If these spirits come to you in a dream, you shiver. Especially if you know something or you are in the wrong. You shiver. You shiver. And I'm telling you something I know. If these spirits come to you, as in Shile Abishuli Laba, or Ngeti Ababa Shai Bom Teto, the judges are much archi. You see, these spirits, Kungabantu Abam Yama, either they are men in black, or they are like shadows, you can't see them very clearly. They are very tall. They were black. A iloku. Sometimes um, it's like the angel of death. Yang is good in They're like the angel of death. When they come, yar, yay, yashu, mama dot. I remember this one dream I had where they came. Uh, they were standing by the water. They were just standing by the water looking at me. You know, I went to them, you know, la lina, lina. And not just by any water, they were standing by the ocean. Emilenje, Engbuga, Apumendlin. Weird thing, my house was near the ocean. Apumendlin, Nimbu, Zangit, Ufunani, Ufunani. They did not say a word. They just looked at me. It was raining cats and dogs. La Lina. Na Lulia Sook. Lina Ngembela. They were just standing there. I was so afraid. 
I woke up Lapo and you know I could not believe what what just happened, you know, and I could not understand that dream. And I thought we were me because I was like, Why am I dreaming of e tunes? You know. But if you like Liduma Mind you, uh, they came again for to be spill. They came this time. Um, this time when they came, it was different. You know, they didn't. They didn't come for me, per se. I just, you know, this is a very deep dream. You know, you should say. And I I saw them you know, in my dream they were carrying like a bottle lily miyama. You know, they tried to put lily bottle somewhere where I saw it. I was like, You're not gonna do that to me. You know, they kept on fighting with me, fighting with me. So what I did was I took this bottle. I gave it to them. I don't remember the dream very clearly. And then I started praying and praying and praying and praying and praying. I praying. Bambamba lo buntu lo. Bahamba na yu. Pangena na yu. Mbobo leo. Bavala pangati. Mind you. A year. Did not pass. I think a year passed. A year. I think a year passed. I think after one year. Or within one year. Kwa shono glu yomuzi. They died. Get pangi kolap. Mufuna jogo kumbi so kuti baka kambi saganja na bishuli. They are scary. Baya tusa. And when they come, when they are angry, bezange simo se zulil tumaga kulu libe miyamal kukubali. Is when they come. And I buffy even in your dream they don't come kukanya. They come kumyama. These people are what differentiates a moya yamanzi moya yendaba. Because these people are unbiased. These people are not tied to the fact you when unamakoso mdao. These people are not tied to that aspect they are above amakosom now they are above inkosazan they are above inkanyamba but they are not above inzunza inzunza ke yone ngaphezulu kwabo Mohambani nzunza gaye so kuhambani koke inkulika kulu gela po uhamba no moya wamdali u kobulu wake. I will explain the story of inzunza. You know like I do want to explain the hierarchy of inzunza and how they came to be judges and inzunza ngokhlukan. I want to explain it. But the topic, you know, it's very deep and it's very sacred and I'm not supposed to explain it. But this topic is so nice, like, it has to do with both spirits in Zunza and it has to do with um, the spirits of Amajaj and how they operate and how or what is happening. Why am I are above every other spirit, but below in Zunza spirit? Like I want to explain this topic. But 
I'm not supposed to. Anyway, I think I've mentioned in Zunza, so I'll not get into detail with in Zunza because I've mentioned in Zunza many times before. So I think that this has been, um, yeah, a long, lengthy topic, man, 30 minutes. Anyway, I'm going to TV. I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to go to the corner. I'm going to go to the corner.